This lesson we will solve square root and other radical equations. Here's your warm up, so pause the video and solve these by factoring, then come back and check your answers. So we have uh, x plus 3, x minus 2 equals 0, and when we set them both equal to 0, x is equal to 2 and a negative 3. This one we subtract 5x and 14 from both sides to set it equal to 0. Our factors would be x minus 7, x plus 2. When each of those are set equal to 0 and solve for x, we get x is equal to 7 or negative 2. Key concepts for this lesson. A radical equation is an equation that has a variable in a radicand or has a variable with a rational exponent. There are steps to solve a radical equation. The first thing you want to do is try to isolate the radical. So if there's anything added to, multiplied, subtracted from, divided, you um, need to do the inverse operation in order to move it. Then you raise each side of the equation to a power equal to the index of the radical. Solve the resulting equation, and if the equation still has a radical, then repeat steps one and two. Check your answer. As you see, there's something, a negative 10, that's added to this radical. So we add 10 to both sides to isolate the radical. It has an index of 2, so let's square both sides of this equation, whatever you do to one side. If you do the same thing to the other, it keeps the equation equal. That leaves us with 2x plus 1 equals 25. Now you simply solve for x the way you're used to, by subtracting 1 from both sides, dividing both sides by 2. Very simple, huh? Now steps to solve an equation with a rational exponent. Again, you're going to isolate the expression with the rational exponent. Raise each side of the equation to the reciprocal of the rational exponent. Remember, when you multiply a fraction by its reciprocal, you get 1. If the numerator or the denominator are even, then your answer is going to be absolute value. If they are both odd, then your answer is just whatever a is. What does that look like? Okay, again, we need to isolate this expression by dividing both sides by 3. Now we multiply by the reciprocal of 3 fifths, both sides. So the cubed root of 8 is 3, or 2, I'm sorry, 2 to the 5th is 32. Subtract 1 from both sides, x is equal to 31. So notice both of these are odd, so our answer is just whatever our um, rational expression is. Oh, now we have an even number, so let's see what that does. First of all, we isolate the expression. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal. However, because there is an even number, we need to find the absolute value of that expression. So we write as two equations, x plus 1 equals 8, or x plus 1 equals negative 8. And we have two answers, either 7 or negative 9. All right, you're ready to begin practice on your own.